Hello everybody and welcome back to Gerbil Space Program. And this is an update to my last video I did yesterday, but check this out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Positive lift. I finally figured out how to get positive lift in like just using parts. And it was actually incredibly easy and it makes perfect sense now. I just kind of angled the uh the wings up a little bit. And now I can just get positive lift just by spinning it. And it's wonderful, but I ran out of battery power. Um let's cheat in battery power, just for the sake of this. But yeah, it's so great. I actually have positive lift. I am so pleased about this. Now let's try it with a nauseating manned, or I say piloted. Oh, it actually works really well. Huh. See this looking from the side. Yeah, that's kind of nauseating. I'm really surprised because I've like, I, I've been working on this for like I've been trying to do this for a long time and it's never worked but somehow it, it, it works all of a sudden so uh yeah I guess I never have tried the um the offset rotors but that's that was the key yeah look at that you get the uh the forces up all right let's give this a shot I'm gonna see if I can um slow down its descent by deploying the rotors above the atmosphere and then immediately after re-entry for another one because you never know and uh, as I've stated before this is actually a goal I've been working on with my program is um, passive rotor descent for spacecraft where it's like unlike a helicopter where it's oh uh, yeah okay where it's powered uh, in this case the rotor would not be powered it would just freely spin uh, as the air flies over it or flows by it creating lift and, and slowing it down I actually had a model rocket that had a, the, the cone would descend like that. It rarely worked because it was made of cheap plastic, but uh, it was still pretty cool. And um, I flew it a number of times. I put like a, a bolt or something on the front of it. Yeah, it was like a, a big screw so that it would like drill into the ground. It didn't actually do what it was supposed to do. Okay, I need to fix that. That's just I wish this game had like folding, folding wings. Uh, Right. There's so many things that this game needs, like deployable wings and uh, winches, uh, inflatable habitats. These can all be achieved in um, mods, but I like playing games without mods because I don't know. I just, I've just always had terrible, terrible luck with mods, except for Gary's mod, which is just all about that. But I mean, like I, I have played some mods in KSP. I played the Interstellar mod a little bit, and it wasn't that fun. But um. <laughs> There's so many things like this. Like mods should improve, should improve a game. Mods shouldn't fix a game. And there are so many things that this game needs that mods fix, that could just be in the base game. Uh, for one, clouds. Like the developers were like, oh, we we're not gonna put in clouds until we find a way to do it that won't like impact um, processing and all that. Meanwhile, there's been mods out for years that give all the planets dynamic clouds that are really nice and like actually makes the game look beautiful but uh... no they can't they can't implement that then again they once said that they were gonna put in like resources and they never did i mean like full resources like, like they were gonna have like oxygen and food and water and you could get a whole bunch of stuff for the planet and it'd be, it'd be great but then they decided not to because they gave no reason they decided not to and uh, instead they gave us a very, very watered down, um, uh, like, resource system, and it was very disappointing. But oh well. And again, they also promised another planet that's never happening, so... Like, there's, like, it's almost like they just stopped caring, I, I, I don't know. I hate to be that way, but it, it really looks, seems like, after the first couple years, they just stopped caring about the game's development. Like, they, they add, like, like adding the uh, communications was really nice, but everything that, like, could be implemented, like, really, like, right away, or could have been implemented months ago, or years ago, they just don't, and I don't know why. It's just, it's dumb. I'm a little bitter, I don't know. See, will it spin by itself? Kind of. That 
way won't really slow it down. It's just the air moving over it pushed it that way. This way will slow it down and give us positive lift. Kind of. Actually, it'll slow down even without it. Well, yeah, let's just do this then. Whenever it will slow down just by passive moving by itself. Or it'll do that. Okay. Kind of. It's not very stable. There we go. Stabilize it. <laughs> I actually like, you know, submitted, like, they, they have a submit thing where you can submit ideas. And I submitted the idea add astrobiology to the game, where you can, like, go and look for life signatures on various planets and stuff. But, um, I'm pretty sure that every message submitted in that in that form just goes into the uh, delete bin so yeah yeah pretty sure that's what happens because they just they've, they've indicated they don't they don't care <laughs> oh well maybe I'll be wrong maybe they'll add all the things they promised later on but it's not looking like it the game really should not be where it is right now um, it shouldn't be 0 0.1. It, it really, really, really shouldn't. The game is nowhere near done. But they decided to anyways. I thought that no clouds. That's just so disappointing. Oh well. It's their game, not mine. But y you would think that the uh, people who play the game would have a say, but no. Just ignore the, uh, the fan base as much as possible and just stay in denial. Now, if I could make this, the uh, the rotor would spin without the capsule spinning. That'd be great, but again, also, there aren't any pivoting joints, so can't do that either. I really should just get a whole bunch of mods and play the game the way it's supposed to be played, you know, actually finished, instead of, like, in this incredibly beta um, version. Hmm, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to actively spin it, but... I'll wait till we're closer to the ground, and then I'll slow it down. Okay, I think I think it's I think I've screwed it up. It's it's not it's not able to write itself. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Jeb. Oh, he survived. Nope, he didn't. That's disappointing. All right, we're gonna keep the. Oh, we're gonna keep it set to radial out so it stays upright. And now we're going to try to slow it down enough that it'll land nice and soft, without engines or a parachute. <laughs> Actually, stop and hover it. Oh, beautiful. See? I love that. I love it. I love it, and Jeb's happy. And when Jeb's happy, I'm happy. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll actually go back to doing real videos, but um, I just this was a fun project. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and space.